Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, fine. Good, good, excellent. Uh, good, running, I just came home. So I was running, okay. but, I, but I'm here. <laughs> so, well, every day, uh, you're running. Yeah, um, but I'm here, so that's important. The traffic was uh, was kind of heavy, so it was kind of difficult, but I got on time. Hi, Glenda. How are you? Tatiana, Ana Gabriela, Grecia, hello. 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 Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. Fantastic. Are you ready? Yes, I'm right. Always right. Okay, good. Excellent. I, I guess me too. Uh, it's seven o'clock, all right. So one minute and we start it. Okay. So, okay. Um, Okay, so let's start what we were doing yesterday. Let me share your, uh, my presentation. Okay, today is, uh, which class is today? Which number class is today? Uh-huh. Thursday. Where, where, where you uh, Tuesday, right, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, November what? Like November? 21st. Yeah, uh, 21st, uh, 2023. Like the British people say, like people from England say, we're going down the hill, okay. So let's just, let's continue what we were doing yesterday. Okay, uh, before uh, okay, I was um, yesterday. I remember that I was explaining a little bit. Uh, how do we you how do we read the years? Okay, so we say um, in a way that we read the years. Also. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Catherine. Also, it's uh, so. How, for example, uh, let me just write it. Um, uh, write it here. Uh, uh, for example, uh, what I mean, uh, what year is this one? What year is this one? Can you see the color? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 19, like. the, the year is 1929. Ah, 1929. Okay. Someone else. Uh, what's uh, what's the year? What's the year? Someone else. Uh huh. What's the year? Open the microphone and read it, please. Nineteen twenty nine. Uh, nineteen. Uh, nineteen eighty. Uh, the one that I have over here. Le oh, one... nineteen uh, eighty seven. Uh, nineteen eighty seven. And what about and what about this one? What will be the year? Nineteen uh, ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. And what about this one? Uh huh. Uh, what about this one? What's the year? 2000. 2000. Uh-huh. And now? 2009. 2009. 
So there is also something really important that when we talk about uh, uh, when we talk about uh, our uh, age, the age, uh, for example, using in the preposition in. So using in this one, we use it with. Uh, let me just uh, change it to English. Uh, this one we use it. Uh, uh, we use it with uh, years and months. For example, uh, people can say, people can say, people can say, I was born, I was born in, uh, let's use years, in, let's use years. Uh huh. In, in 1990. Okay, 19, uh -huh, 1991 in 1997. So we can say I was born in uh, 2000, for example. Okay, um, we can say also I was born in, uh, uh, let's say, 2001. Okay, so that's the way that we use it with years. Now, we use it with months also. So I can say I was, or he was, let's use another subject. He was born, born, oops, born in, let's use months, in? February. In February, yes. Okay, February. In February. Okay, I was born in March. In March. Now, okay, in September, in August, and and we say and ex well and so on. We don't use uh etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And we say and so on nowadays and instead of etc. etc. Okay. Uh, now that's the, the what is the difference between uh using uh, using on the preposition on uh-huh does anybody can tell me an idea what is it uh-huh maybe when it's a, a specific day yes when it's a specific day we use it uh, using on when we talk about a specific date, uh -huh, like this. So we, for example, we say, uh, we say, uh, let's say, let's talk about other things. Well, uh, she was born, okay, they were born, let's say, uh, they, uh, oops, they were um, born on, let's say, on May uh, 19, okay? So you see, uh, they were born uh, on uh, June uh, 2nd, or June 2. So that's why uh, June 2, and we can use the year also. We can say uh, they were born May 19, uh, 1978. Uh, Oops, 1978. So we can use the, the, the year also. We use the month like this, the date, and the year. So. So in this case, that's the difference between on, in, and what was the other? Ah, yes, and between on and in. Okay, so that's what I was trying to explain yesterday. Is it okay? Any questions? I got a message over here. Buenas noches. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, Luis. Uh-huh. Yes, Don Julio. Oh, any questions, teacher? Ah, okay, okay. Anybody else?
Okay, let's continue. If no questions, let's continue with the rest. Okay. Ah, I didn't. Let me erase that one. Now. Okay. Uh, what do you have over there on the chart? What do you have over there? What do we have? Yes. Yes, no, yes, no questions. With past tense of sure I'll be and sure answers. Remember that uh the past tenses of be is what are the past tenses of be? Was and where. Was and where. Okay. I was he was, she was, it was. We were, they were, you were. Remember that you can be uh, can be plural, uh, singular and plural, okay? I, I talked to Miriam and I say, you were born in 2002, for example. And I talked to all of you, you were born in so it's the pen. So question, were you born in the US? The affirmative answer is, what is the affirmative answer? Yes, I was. Yes, uh, I was. And the negative? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. So the affirmative is, yes, I was. Uh, no, I wasn't. Okay, the, the color, this is the, let me, let me change the color over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, and was my brother born, uh, was your brother born in 1985? The affirmative is, the affirmative. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And the negative is? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Um, and were your parents born in a Econ in the United States? Let's change in the United States. Yes, we say yes. Yes, they, they were. Yes, they, they were. were. And uh, were your parents born in the United States? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. So that's that's the thing over there. So remember when uh, people, uh, you give uh, negative answers for uh, you, people expect the, um, the correct information. For example, was Mr. Lopez born in San Salvador? Was Mr. No. Lopez? No. No, no, he, he was no, he, wa he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was, no, he wasn't. Born in. He was born in Chalatenango. Chalatenango. He, uh -huh, exactly. So you say, uh, someone asked you, hey, was Mister, was your teacher born in San Salvador? No, he wasn't. He was born in San in, in Chalatenango, in a little cantoncito over there. Okay, so that's the that's the negative, uh, the short answer and the negative. For example, talking about other things, uh, where we hear uh, yesterday, uh, where we hear last night in class, where we hear where we were we uh, in class last night. Yes, I was. Uh huh. Yes. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Usually, sometimes, usually, the the subject uh, uh, mentioned in the question, we use it in the in the answer. So, were we at work last night? Were we at work last night? Let's say negative. No, no I, I wasn't. No, uh, uh, no. Remember where we at work last night? No, we.
nowhere wearing, like someone said over there, because usually, and what, so what would be the affirmative, the, uh, the correct information? No, we weren't. What would be the correct information? Yes, we were. No, I would say if we were saying, if we were saying, no, we weren't at work last night, so we were here, right? So what would be the correct? No, we weren't. We? Were we in class yesterday? Last night? Were we in class last night? Yes, we were. Yeah. Yes, we were. And then they say, were we at work last night? No, we weren't. We were in class. Okay, that will be the correct information over there. So uh, let me erase that one. So those are yes, no questions. Like, don't worry, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Let me disactivate that one. This is my new toy. Okay. So uh, it says important. What it says over there, Carla Azucena? Important. Carla Azucena, you there? Hello. Uh huh. Uh, read. Uh -huh. read, uh, read this one. Important. Ah. We, ah. Use... we use yes, yes, no to confirm information. Uh -huh. look, at, look at the formation. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, it was my mistake over there. I missed something. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, no. no, 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 no. This. Uh, we use yes, no questions to uh yes no questions i miss questions okay now it's complete now we have a complete idea so um we use next uh yes no questions as carla said uh, to confirm information but remember if the answer is negative the listener uh, will expect that you give the correct information. For example, uh, were we at work last night? No, we weren't. We were in class, okay? Uh, were we in class yesterday afternoon? No, we weren't. We were at work or I was at home or doing different things, okay? Okay, I have, oh, I have the same people over there that you were working. Let's take an advance to these people. They offered to help me in, in the class. Okay, that is, who's that? Who's that? He is a Johnny Depp. It's Johnny Depp, okay. Was Johnny Depp work, uh, I mean, born on June 9, 1963? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And then you confirm the information. You can do that also. Uh -huh. He was born on June 9th. 19th. 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 
uh, 21. Okay, good, excellent. Everybody's here. Okay. And 21, that will be 10 breakout rooms, okay? So, uh, do you, le tomo captura o tiene los de ayer? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Okay, please take uh, take a capture of this uh, image over there. Okay, I will give you um, like 10 minutes for you to practice as much as you can, but talk to your classmates, please. Okay. Okay, you should be receiving the invitation. Go ahead, please.
Uh, she went from the, the Los Angeles. Ángeles. Ajá, Los Ángeles, Ángeles California. California. Ajá, ajá. Si gusta, yo te estuve si preguntando porque casi no me puedo. Eh, ajá, eh, por ejemplo, Bye. empecemos con primero. Eh, was Johnny, Johnny born on July, July 9, 1963? Uh, yes, he was. He was born on June 9, 1963. Uh, okay, and she was born in California. Uh, no, he wasn't. He was born in Kentucky. Okay, now what I is Leonardo he, DiCaprio. Uh, ah, see. He was uh, Leonardo DiCaprio um, uh, on November 11, 1974. Yes, he was. He was born on November 12, 1974. Uh, was he born? Los Angeles, California, USA. Um, yes. Yes, he was born in Los Angeles, California, USA. Okay, the next one is Cristina Aguilera, ¿verdad? Um, William, y esta Cristina, si gusta Cristina, Cristina Aguilera. Si, uh, si gusta, puedes preguntarme a mí ahora, creo que. Was eh, Cristina Aguilera born on. Texas. He was born in November 11. Yes, he was. Okay, ahora si quiere puede hacerme preguntas. Ajá, son todos. Okay. De Madonna. Yo like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería... She no. was born in, uh -huh. in New York City. No, uh, no she was born in Michigan. She was born in Nine. Yes, she was. She was born in July. You know. Sí, verdad? July. Mm -hmm. Ah, July. Twenty-four. Ninety-nine. Seventy. Um. La otra pregunta es was she, uh, was, was she born 
in, uy, in Guatemala. No, she wasn't. She, she was born in the Bronx, New York City, United States. Hmm. Vaya, hoy vamos. Eh, William, William sería. Ah, no, Madonna. Madonna. Uh -huh. Ok. Was Madonna born in August 16, 1958? Yes, she was, she was born on August 17, no. No, it's 16, 16, 99. Hello, welcome back to the main room. Welcome back to Airline 77 uh, with uh, Destiny Up. Uh, being a fully bilingual speaker. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was in uh, I was in a couple of rooms, and uh, you were uh, you you were doing a great job. So thank you very much. Everyone was talking. Thank you. Okay, so everybody should be coming right now, and uh, should be coming and returning. Yeah, everybody's here. Well, that's yes, no questions, okay? So um, that's the end of yes, no questions. Now, what is, oops, let me, no present, no presenting the picture. Let me show it over there. Okay, now let's, uh, we have other type of questions. What are the other type of questions? Oops, I, I went back. What are the other type of questions that we have over there? Uh huh. What are the type of questions that we have over there? For example, uh huh. WH questions. WH questions, okay. When we have WH questions, is not respond with yes or no. We respond uh, with affirmative sentence by saying the subject, the past tense of B, plus the rest of the information. For example, it says, where were you born? It says the lady over there. What is the answer? I was born in Korea. Okay. When was Mr. Lopez born? Ah, uh, uh, no. When was he born? He born. Mr. Uh, Lopez. No, no. I'm sorry. It's my mistake. I'm sorry. It was my mistake because <laughs> I, I asking about the year, not the um um. I am asking about the year, not the place. It was my mistake. Okay, let's try again, Miss. Okay, and you respond. Uh, when was he born? Uh, he, he born. He was born. He was born. He, he was born. Mm -hmm. And Robert Chalatenango. Uh, no, we were talking about the question over there. Just read the question over here. Uh, uh, he uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Just read the uh, question. He was born in uh, 19, 1988. 80, 85. <laughs> very good, very good. It was me who may, make you confused, okay? It was me. I apologize for that one. But I always said, don't apologize, but I'm doing it this time because it was my fault. Okay, uh, and what city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Uh -huh, they were born in Seoul. Uh, look, uh, 
this is not very popular, but it can it can uh, it can be done. For example, uh, let me let me let me activate my uh, thing over here. Um, uh, for example, look at the first question. Uh, no, ah, the first one. Uh, look at the first one. What is the question? And the answer. Um, uh huh. And the question and the answer. I was born in Korea. Korea. I was born in Korea. That's the most common question. This one is not very common, but it can be done. For example, you can say, uh huh. You can say. What city were they born in? And what city they were born in? And the answer is. They were, they, born were born they were born in Seoul. They were born in Seoul. Uh, or we can say what country were they born in. And instead of city, we can say what country they were born in. So yes, no questions. I said that I, uh -huh. I have a lamp, but I don't know where it is. Okay. Okay, so uh, in that case, we use, let me, let me, uh -huh. we use important. What is over there, the note? Important? We use W words to uh -huh. look for information. WH words or WH questions. Okay, some books you will say WH words. Ah, and what are WH words? Uh huh. Do you remember what are they? Uh, do you remember what are they? For example, we have, we have what? Where? Where? We have when? when we have what? Okay. So what? Uh, what is where? What does where ask for? Uh huh. What does where ask for? This is equal to, or sorry, uh, this is equal to. Uh huh. Uh donde? Uh huh. But uh, ask. It is around. Ask for. Place. Uh, ask for places. Yes. So we use where to ask for places. Where were you born? I was born in Chalatenango. Okay. Uh, where did you go? I went to the supermarket. Uh, where were you yes, last night? I was in class. I was in my good English class. Okay. So, so this one um, asked for places. And what about... What about when? Uh-huh. What does when ask for? Just reminding you, okay? What does when ask for? Ask for, for? Time. Time, okay? Ask for time. This one, it can be years, uh, it can be months, like, like uh, I was born in 1985. I was born in July of the year of 1985. So this one asked for um, time. And the other one is what? Uh-huh. What do we use what for? We use what? To, uh -huh, to us for general uh -huh. information. Uh, we ask what to ask for general information, okay? Um, what city were you born in? What country were you born in? What's your name? What do you do? Uh, what's your last name? Uh, what's your teacher's name? Okay, so we ask for general information. 
Okay, so these are the WH questions. So the answer is not uh, responding with a yes or with a no. It's totally different. So um, uh, that's why, so we use it for, okay? Any questions? Oh, well, uh, no teacher, no question. Okay. Uh, we are, um, let me erase that one. Otherwise we'll, we'll have it over there. Okay. Uh, the point of the study here is pass and uh, was and where. So the past tense of B, but it's important. I consider that this is important that I may remind you about the WH questions. Okay. Um, for example, uh, use complete these questions with was and where. I would like to have nine part volunteers, okay? But raise your hands, okay? In order to make it right. So please look at the, at the sentences over there and it says complete these questions with was and where. Uh-huh. Look at the questions. I'll give you like 30 seconds. When? Uh -huh. Raise your hand, please. Okay, Glenda, you're already talking. Okay, Glenda, you're the first <laughs> participant. Uh -huh. Good, excellent. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh huh. Number two. When were uh -huh. you born? Ah, when were you born? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Linda. Good, excellent. Where were you born? I was born in Chalatenango. I know, I was born in 1968. <laughs> 1968, okay. Uh-huh, number two, who would like to try? Raise your hands. Number three, because Brenda already did number two. Yes, yeah, Silvia, Andrea? Where were your parents born? Ah, uh -huh. where were your parents born? Good. And what will be the answer? Anyone can answer this one. Where were your parents born? Where were your parents born? My parents. My. Uh -huh. My parents. And <laughs> born um, uh, in San Salvador. In San Salvador, okay, my parents were born in, in San Salvador. Remember, if the question is, where were your parents born? You can use the subject they, because um, we use subject pronouns in order to avoid repetition, but it's okay that you say, oh, my parents, they were born in, in San Salvador. Okay, number, uh, thank you, Silvia. Uh, uh, number four, who would like to do number four? When was your mother born? Uh-huh. Where, what, when was your mother born? And what would be the possible answer? My mother born in May 7th. Okay. And my mother uh, was born on May 7th. Good. Excellent. And who would like to do number six and uh, number five? When was your father born? Okay, Senia, good. When was your father born? And the possible answer? He was born. August 3. On August 3. On August 3. Okay, good. And who will uh, like, to, uh, like to do number six? Raise your hand, please, in order to make it in order. How many slides? Yeah, we're doing okay. Uh huh. Who would like to do number six? You and your family in the city last year. Uh huh. Give a try. Who would like to do it? Where? Uh huh. Where? Were you and your family in the city last year? Yeah. What would be the possible answer? 
Notice the question. Uh -huh. What will be the possible answer? It, it, you have two options over there. It can be affirmative or negative. They, they were. Yes. Ah. Yes, we were. Ah, yes, we were. Oh, no, we weren't. Uh -huh. Because it's, it's, it's not a WH question. It's a yes, no question. Okay, it's similar to number seven. What would be number seven? You at this school last year. Were you? Uh -huh. Were you at this? And what would be the possible answer? No, they weren't. Uh, no, they, okay, it, it can be plural. Okay, uh, no, we weren't. Or oh, yes, uh, I, I was, or no, I wasn't. Okay, who, number A, who would like to do number A? Who, your first English teacher? Uh-huh, who would like to try that one? Raise your hands. Who were your first English teacher? Who, uh huh, your first English teacher? Who was your first English uh, teacher? Uh huh, Senia. Do, do you have another option over there? I uh, say the question again, Senia. Uh -huh. Where? Uh, I don't know. Ah, you <laughs> say, ah, your first answer was, was, right? Okay, like, like Marvin said. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was me. Uh, it was me. And, uh, okay, who was your first English teacher? What would be the possible, the possible answer? What will be the possible answer? Uh huh. My teacher is Mr. Robert. Ah, who was your first English teacher? Not right now. It was in the. It was in the past. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of my teachers I always mentioned uh, it was Mr. Lunch Mr. Loncho. <laughs> okay. He was. You can say he was Mr. Alvarez, he was Mrs. Contreras. Uh, um, uh she was, I'm sorry. Uh she was Mrs. Contreras, he was Mr. Alvarez. What nationality your first English teacher? What will be the, the what or where? Where? Ah, your first English teacher. Ah, was. Uh -huh. And what will be the possible answer? He was. He was. He was Salvadorian. And he was Salvadorian. He was American. He was Guatemalan. He was, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And the last one, what he or she liked? What, where? Uh huh. What? What he was? was? Uh huh. She liked. Okay. What was he, he like or she liked? What will be the possible answer? Yes. Okay. He was. He was. Okay, he was nice. He was uh, excel an excellent teacher. When you have questions like, what was he like? What was she like? What's El, Con El Salvador like? So people expect that you describe the, the country, the city, or the person. Oh, he was nice. 
He was a nice person. For example, I remember Don Carlos, Don Lonche, my, my teachers from my little cantoncito. And I, and I would say they were very nice teachers. Okay. So um, if I, I talk in a plural, if I talk about Don Carlos, I say he was a nice teacher. A good, he was a good director because he, he was the was director over there. So those are uh, guys. So uh, remember that there is a difference between, uh, for example, on the first one, uh, let me make, uh, oh, by the way, uh, we have some years over here. What are the years? Uh-huh. Uh, what are the years? First of all, we have, we have, what year? What is the year? 1906. 1906. Remember that you say 1901, 1905, 1909, uh, 16, uh, 1602, 1605, uh, 17, uh, 1707. So, and the second, what is the second? 1917. Ah, 19, oh. 1973, okay, 19, uh, 1917, I'm sorry. The next one, what is the next one? 1999. 1999, I, uh, we were already talking a little bit about this one. And the last, and the other one is? 2000. 2000. 2001 and one, 2002. But you can say 2001, 2003, 2004, or you can say 2001, it's, which is not very common, honestly. Um, it's not very common anymore. So you say 2001, 2002, 2004, 2009. Okay, so like that way. Okay, any questions? Any questions? No question, teacher. No question. Mine. There are no questions. Thanks, God. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. If you have any questions, please be my guest. Okay. Uh, what time? Ah, oh, we have a couple of minutes. Okay. So, um, oh, it won't work if I don't disactivate this one. It's clear for the moment. Yeah, okay. Okay, we have a, a pronunciation over there. Um, we have, what are the, uh, we're going to practice pronunciation, negative? Negative contraction. Negative contraction. First of all, I'm going to play, you, uh, you listen over there. Okay. Oh, what do you see on the picture over there? Before we listen, I'm sorry. What do you see on the picture? Who can tell uh, something about the picture that you see over there? Uh, I see two children. Okay, two children. Uh, she, she and he don't eat. Okay, the children uh, don't eat their food. Uh huh. And what they about? They are angry. Okay, they are angry. And who looks upset? You can say angry or upset or mad. Who looks very upset about it? Very angry about it. The children I, or the the mother? Maybe I don't like the food. Ah, uh, maybe they don't like the food. Maybe it could be that. But we had to teach our children that whatever we have at home, it's a God's blessing. Okay. Okay. Let's listen to uh, the, the negative contraction. Only listen and pay attention. Page 102, exercise four, pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A, listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. 
doesn't, didn't. Okay. Uh, do you listen to the T sound? Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Okay. Uh, now we can listen very clearly because I make an effort because I'm teaching. Okay, but when I speak, so there is no need for me to do it. But the sound has to be there, has to be articulated. Okay, now let's listen and repeat behind microphones. Okay, no microphone, but repeat louder. Oh, six. Page 102, exercise four. Pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A. Listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Okay, now um, listen what I do. Uh, now you do as the Romans do. So it says, aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Now do it yourself, but behind microphone. Okay. Now let's do the other one. Listen and practice. Listen first, okay? We finish con this actividad, with this activity. Page 102, exercise 4, part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Okay, now listen and repeat again um, behind microphones. I will pause the audio. Page 102, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Okie dokie. Let me take the attendance. Uh-huh. Anna Sonia Elizabeth. Anna Sonia Elizabeth. Andrea Estera Costa. Yeah. Ah, and that's the one. Okay, thank you. But I had the right one also. Abel Herminio, this is the correct one. Okay, Anna Gabriela Alvarenga. 
Present. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. Present teacher. Elsa Cecilia Carranza Rodríguez. Present. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro Argueta. Present teacher. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón Orellana. Present, mister. Jacqueline Lorena Campos Chávez. Present teacher. Julio Antonio Orantes Herrera. Present teacher. Karen Azucena Ángel López. Katarina. Es Carla. Carla, sus, uh, ok, tengo Carla Azucena Ángel López. Present teacher. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ok, thank you, I'm sorry. Ok, uh, okay Catherine Andrea Sánchez Díaz. Present teacher. Eh, Crisia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present. Luis Edenilson Díaz Valles. Present. Marilyn Ruby Mulato Gaitán. Present. Marvin Rudy Mulato Gaitán. Present. Minor Alexander Avelar Avelar. Present teacher. Mi Miriam Janet Villalobos Segovia. Nubia Beatriz Rivas Alvarenga. Present teacher. Robert Alberto García González. Present, I'm sorry. Eh, que estoy presente, pero se me trabó esto. Ah, ok, ok. André, uh, Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. Present. Tatiana Michelle Pineda Gaitán. Present. Encenia Esmeralda Chávez Lo Lozano. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.